Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain, Halo Infinite Breaking News Edition. You know, I woke up this morning to a very pleasant surprise. Halo had just posted a beautiful 4K image showing Combat Evolved Master Chief back to back with Halo Infinite Master Chief, duking it out against the Covenant, the banished Prometheans, Flood. He has had a lot of enemies in his time and this might genuinely be the nicest piece of imagery I've ever seen for Halo and people are breaking it down all over Twitter, all over the internet, shout out to all those awesome people, but I noticed one thing that nobody's really reporting on, so I thought I'd fire up my cam, you know, I'm not one to make wild speculation videos, I pretty much have never done that, but this is a really cool thing, a mysterious figure lurking in the background of this image, hmm, I wonder who that could be. So we're gonna break the image down today, all of the best highlights that I've found for myself, my friends, and people on Twitter, and then we're also gonna talk about this big baddie in the background. Who is it? I think it's just a regular Promethean soldier, but who knows really? So as you all know, Halo is celebrating its 20th anniversary this year and I plan to make an entirely different video on how Halo has affected my life because it has just been so enormous like many people but I imagine this is just the first of many different images and videos to celebrate the 20th anniversary. I think we'll just be getting them non-stop until Halo Infinite's launch and it's nice to see that this is not only a year to celebrate Infinite but also everything that came before especially Halo Combat Evolve. And this image, gosh it's so beautiful. We'll start with the left because that's everything everything that has already come before. In 20 years, the Master Chief has fought so many enemies. We see a Promethean Crawler, some Flood, but then also a Hunter and a Grunt. And th that Hunter is a beautiful sort of mix mash of designs. I absolutely love it. The Sentinels flying everywhere, explosions. It's absolute chaos. And the left side of the image holds a special place in my heart right now because I'm just in the middle of reading Halo The Flood. I finished Fall of Reach last week and I'm just delving into as many novels as I can before Infinite's release. I'm gonna do some videos talking about the lore in those books, but it's really great to be reading Halo the Flood, which is basically just a different recount of all the events of Combat Evolved, and I see the Master Chief holding his pistol, which really he relies on so heavily in that book, and so far in this novel, hunters are his worst enemy, they're a really difficult thing to defeat, so it's cool seeing them pride and center of the sort of last 20 years, you know, stuff that has come before. I saw a lot of people saying they really enjoyed how the Magnum was being gripped by the original Combat Evolved Chief, and also I love the sort of juxtaposition between blue and red across the image, that's kind of like transitioning between the blue of like Elites and the Covenant onto the red of the Banish, and just that ever going war, like I've, I honestly feel sorry for the Master Chief sometimes, like in the Halo Infinite trailer he sounded so tired, because he's been fighting these enemies for like 20 years and he's not had a break, so good on you chief just keeping the fight going and we're moving on to what most would say is the most important section of the image the halo infinite designed enemies we're treated to a really excellent preview of halo infinite elites probably the best image we've seen so far and i was drawn to a tweet by alex haruspis who compared these designs to isaac hannaford's original concept art for elites in halo reach they actually look pretty spot on so i love this elite design and we also get a look at two of our monkey boys the chieftain and the jump pack brute we've seen these both in the world of Halo Jazzwear toy scale already. I've got that brute at home. I don't know whether it's a captain. It's kind of got a new helmet, but those brutes look amazing, and so does my ugly jackal boy. We've known jackals are going to be ugly in Halo Infinite since Jeremiah the Jackal in Mega Constructs. We nicknamed him Jeremiah the Jackal, but I mean, that's the official name now. Go with it. But we've seen how ugly these jackals are going to be. They are absolutely hideous little reptile things, and I'm absolutely in love with all of these designs. Very interestingly, as well. We see the Master Chief in Halo Infinite using a flashlight. I would love if flashlights made a bold and beautiful return to Halo, and I would also love to be walking through these new installations, all these new corridors of Zeta Halo, with a flashlight taking out some flood, because there's, there's gonna be flood in Halo Infinite. Just watch it. There's gonna be. There's some Mega, the mega Constructs toys kind of show it. And there are so many beautiful things to unpack in this image, but the thing that drew my attention the most is this Promethean soldier in the background. Because don't get me wrong, this is only concept art, but let's be real here. On the left, it's everything that came before, but on the right side, it's definitely all Halo Infinite, except for this thing in the background, or is this part of Halo Infinite, you know what I mean? Because we've all been saying for a while, are the Forerunners going to return in Halo Infinite? Are we going to have Promethean soldiers, knights, crawlers, watchers, whatever to fight? My answer has always been yes. 343 cannot just abandon all of the world building they've done over Halo 4 and 5, or it was kind of literally for nothing if you just discard 
discard the Forerunners and discard Cortana and her created and just focus on the Banished, which I've been worried for a while that they'll do, but this kind of gives me hope that they're going to turn that around. I genuinely enjoy Prometheans. Yes, they are a bit clunky and they absorb bullets like a sponge, but I really enjoyed taking them out. I love the different units, how a Watcher could respawn a Knight and kind of vice versa, and I love taking out Knights in Halo 5. They made them way better. So I am just really hoping that 343 doesn't discard all of their work. I'm hoping that they continue the Forerunner legacy into Halo Infinite, and I'm really hoping that there are three enemies, the Banished, the Created with the Forerunners, and obviously our Flood, because we, we just need Flood back in Halo. Come on, guys. I mean, the, the community is dying for it. Guys, I really want to hear in the comments what your opinions of the Forerunners returning are. I would love them to, but please do let me know your pros and cons in the comments below. Please do like this video if you enjoyed what you see. I want to get into those sort of mainstream Halo news, but also with like a weird twist because I'm, you know, by the ocean in Hong Kong and sweating like mad. So it, it's all a bit of a different approach for me, but I really hope you support it. Thank you very much for tuning in today. So yeah, let's celebrate the 20th anniversary together. This is going to be an absolutely amazing year. I don't know if it's going to be the best for Halo. It's definitely going to be the peak since like I was really around on the scene. Halo has been a part of my life since Halo 3 and I owe almost my entire life to it. So I am just so excited for what 2021 will bring. Halo Infinite's launch. Let's get the Forerunners in Halo Infinite where they've been showing us this, this beautiful sound design for the corridors of Halo or smashing pianos, making sound effects, probably for Flood, but maybe Prometheans. I don't know. Maybe there's going to be a Promethean pug. Who knows? This has been another video with the domain. You stay awesome out there. Long live Halo. Long live the community. Signing off.